Michael. So we just reviewed Unibrew's At Tout Le Monde, which was the first Saison style beer that we featured on the channel. So Alessandro, Saisons have a little bit of a legend to them. They have a little bit of a history there. And it's a really interesting style of beer that we haven't had the chance to really tackle yet. So if you were gonna give our viewers a summary, a really brief summary on what is a Saison style beer, what would you tell them? So what I would tell them, and since you mentioned the legends, let's start from the legend. Let's start with what's, uh, the legends are always such a great place to start. Yeah, it's, come on, especially beer and legends like those are oh, just perfect together. They go so well together, man. They do. That's it's our bread and butter. <laughs> so, um, well, Saisons uh, are also uh, referred to as uh, farm ales like far, uh, and farmhouse and ales. Reason, is because uh, there is uh, this uh, legend uh, that uh, the beers were produced on uh, farmhouses and then given uh, to workers during the summer. Saison workers, uh, season workers that would come and help like during the summer months. That's nice. Right? And that's, that's never... a beautiful thing. Like you're coming working, you get like beer to work. Uh, and Dude, that's that's great. Uh, I've done I, I, seasonal I, jobs in my life. I've never been given beers by my boss. I can say that I have. So, I, you know, that, that's <laughs> nice, right? Like you're going to work and you get beer for it. Like that's that's great. So, but the problem with this, this scenario is that while it has some truth, like it probably like was initially uh, created like on farmhouses and all of that, yeah. the amount of uh, people and production that is needed to produce beer, like in, in, in a way, like on, on small family estates, like it's a little bit unrealistic. Now it is true though, that it was produced uh, during the winter months. I know this is hard for you, but winter is coming. Because those were mm. the only months that were safe uh, to produce beer because of the, you know, the, the heat. Uh, you can't really like ferment beer at super high temperatures. So the winter yeah. months would give you that opportunity. Winter is coming. Uh, now, another reason why it's not realistic that it was given to, saisons were given to uh, um, workers, seasoned workers, is because of their percentage. Uh, now, beers, uh, saison beers are, were usually lower than what they are now. They're not like... Uh, up to the eight nine percent like they were usually more in the 3.5 to 5 so this one here is a classic example 4.5 mm -hmm. but even like if it's lower than what of the some of some of the saisons that you see right now a 4.5 percent beer is not a beer that you want to give to your workers like because it's going to get them drunk uh, yeah. so the, the beers that were more realistically given to workers were probably lower uh, in alcohol content and uh, we we kind of had like an interesting interview with uh, Matthias from Schlenkerla and he's talking about an example of beers that are uh, produced with very low uh, alcohol content, like less than 1% yeah. and used like as a consumed as almost like water because water was not always safe to be consumed. So they had those beers as the refreshing elements while they were working. Yeah, that, that's my office beer. Um, I love that. I'm, I'm a bit of a beer historian and I a lot, uh, like to read a lot about historic beer styles. And obviously, I mean, behind me, you see my ancestor line and the sixth generation here in the brewery. So we have old records dating back to the 1900s, mid 1900s, 1850s, and uh, 19th century, not 1900s. In fact, back in those days, people usually did not drink water because water was always polluted. It was uh, it contained bacteria, uh, pathogenic bacteria. So yeah. uh, the standard drink was beer, obviously. And in order to not get drunk, um, standard beers back then were lower in alcohol. So what are some distinguishing characteristics of a Saison beer? I know that they, they're generally dry hopped, correct? So it gives them kind of like a really dry aftertaste, but as well, they have, they're generally associated with some uh, fruity, some citrusy flavors as well. What are some common characteristics that we can look for in a Saison style that really make it unique? So one of the things that you definitely are going to always uh, find is uh, the fact that it's brewed with some spices of some sort mm -hmm. and it is fermented at a slightly higher temperature and sometimes with specific strains of yeast and yeast when fermented with high temperature usually produces like characters, estuary characters as they're yeah. called, which are usually fruity. Uh, and especially if you do add spices, which is not like, uh, you know, a requirement, but if you yeah. do, that plus the estuary character produced by the yeast adds all those elements of fruitiness, citrusness uh, uh, to the beer that is makes it like quite unique. 
and again, like if we stick to the legend of the fact that it's produced, you know, on a on a on a farmhouse, you know, you might not have always that temperature control and all of those like fancy equipment. So those elements are, you know, translating into the beer, which makes it like very unique and uh, and particular. Now there are some producers that do use. Uh, wine yeast which ferments at a higher temperature but the problem with that is that sometimes that produces like some uh, uh, too high ethanol like elements that turns into almost like nail polish things so like a combination oh, okay. of that and regular beer yeast is usually preferred so there's there's many directions but those are I would say some of the elements that you're going to look for when you're looking for a saison. Are saisons generally higher in carbonation level as well? Well, this specific example that we just did a review of, the uh, Tula Monde, this uses bottle fermentation to increase to up the carbonation level. Uh, so we mentioned specific types of yeasts that are used. I was reading that saisons generally use types of yeasts that are, from what I read, very hungry in the sense that they'll eat up a lot and they'll produce a lot of CO2, which in general would produce a highly carbonated beer. Is that something that's standard with saisons, or is that something that's more unique to, um, let's say, a Belgian saison like Unibrew is trying to reproduce here? Well, I would say that it varies depending on the producer. There's not like a specific, uh, to my knowledge, again, like it, it's maybe it is, but I, I think that here in this specific case, this high carbonation is, like you said, is due to the fact that it's bottle fermented. I would say sticking to the fact that they were normally like produced in a farmhouse, like and and you know if you were looking more at that aspect, it's quite likely that the bottles uh, would uh, normally be uh, bottle fermented because yeast would normally be they're not filtered, so yeast is going to still be present in the beer. So you're going to look probably at a beer that has a little bit higher carbonation than normal uh, for sure. Uh, but bottle fermentation in particular is also induced adding a little bit of sugar for the yeast to work on. So yeah. yes, for sure, the yeast like plays a factor in that. Uh, but I think that this case in particular, in this high level of carbonation is more characteristic of, of this specific brew. And, and I'm sure there's others out there, but as a style, it's not like, yeah. let's say, something that is necessarily or required for it to be yeah. called Cezanne. Like the yeast, the type of yeast is more of a, a required element, let's say. Well, there you go, guys. If you're looking for a nice, refreshing dry hop sort of dry beer with some fruity elements to it higher than average carbonation level find yourself a saison like a tula monde <laughs>